Hey, it's DG the Gadget Goddess, and today I have an unboxing of another smartwatch. This is the follow up to the smartwatch that I previously owned, the Nubia Alpha. So, this is just called the Nubia Watch or the Nubia Smartwatch. But this is supposed to be, you know, an upgrade from what I already had. This can be used on iOS and on Android. Let's get the unboxing. It's like this bad boy didn't have the best of journeys here, but you know, it got here. This watch is made in Shenzhen, China, and it says it's a wearable phone. They have this watch in different colors. I did see it in green, but it's more like that army green. You have a watch in here. Charging cable. It's gonna be books and stuff. Ten extra band. Guess if you need something smaller. That's drastically smaller. Well, not a couple inches smaller. So you get an extra band if you got a little wrist. It's not super bright out here, but it is dim. The watch is, but it is on right now. I'm gonna pair it to my iPhone because I want to see how well it works with my iPhone. Nubia watch is booting up. Well, the last watch had more flexibility. This is bent to uh, how your arm would be imagined to be. So it's not a lot of flexibility here. They give you the policy here. So scan to start pairing now. I have already downloaded the Nubia Wear app. So we're gonna pair these up. Hey! So we're pairing now. My curiosity here is that if all messages are going to come through like they do with my Samsung watch. Because with some of these watches, iMessages don't come through. Okay, we've paired. I put all my stuff in. The watch is at 71% and that's pretty good because it's been in the box for a while. I need to find how to make this brighter because it's really too dark. Brightness level 2. We want brightness level to be. I put it on five right now just because I'm shooting. Show clock when screen is off. Will shorten battery life. Ah, clock switch. So there's many options for your clocks here. And I think that's for when the clock is off. Watch pad switch. So this is actual screens. I'm all about some date and time. Got health settings. Reminder if you've been sitting too long. Target number of steps. Sound. Music 15. Oh, that's all the way up, huh? All the way up. Being we have eight gigs of memory on here, it might be good. Raise to wake. I do use raise to wake because I don't use the auto always on screen. I thought I would have an option for sound. So let's see. If we're any good with iMessages, see, I chose this clock. How girly of me, right? What? Uh, okay, so this watch actually went off before the other watch did. Before my Samsung. They are both kind of connected right now. So let's put this on. Let's roll with this smaller band. Let's let's see what that's talking about because this one seems a little big for me. See how hard this is to take off and put on. Okay, one's off. Okay, that didn't take as long as you probably thought it did, but yeah, you know, it just was easier to do it without trying to focus on the camera and everything else. If you're definitely a lady, you want to roll with the smaller band. I still got room. I can tighten this up a little more. Okay, that feels better. Let's do a heart rate right quick. And going through some of this, I see it's probably just as um, limited as my previous one was. There's not a lot of apps that it's going to receive messages from. I'm going to have to charge it completely. Give it a couple days. Don't be shocked if I come back and say, hey, I've connected this to my Android. Just because the iPhone was so limited. Because that's a great possibility. Nubia Watch amazing to me how I hadn't been out of the house in so long that they built a whole neighborhood over here. 
Meanwhile, ZTE, Nubia, we need to talk. Let me start off by saying I first paired this to my iPhone 12 Pro Max and it worked, features were limited. Nubia Wear app, when you go into your settings, your notifications, everybody says it's limited, but as notifications comes in, it adjusts. So whereas I didn't have Clubhouse, Twitter and all that, I had those notifications to where I could turn them on and off. The caveat to that, which was kind of funny to me, is I didn't have a selection for email to come through because I would have turned that off. I get a bazillion emails a day, but I would get alerts for my emails when my phone was connected to the watch. So I just clear those out. So I said, okay, I'll pair it to the Android. The funny thing about pairing it to the Android is I never deleted it off my iPhone. This was the first time I was able to seek two phones to a watch. Hooray me, I'm sending text messages celebrating. I got a watch that I can use with both of my phones and get alerts. That way I'll just have certain alerts come from my phone, you know, I'm my daily driver, and certain alerts come from the work phone. This is gonna be the perfect world for me, right? Not so fast. I thought about this the night I turned the watch off. It's not gonna work like that anymore. And lo and behold, it did not work like that anymore. I work with barely keeping a connection to said watch from either phone now. And if I wanna delete one, it wants me to completely wipe the watch. That being said, that's where my happiness ended <laughs> with this. There are far more uh, features on the Nubia app. I have options to push notifications, to not push notifications when the screen is on. Uh, Android is just really good about all of this. So every app that's on my phone, I can turn on and off alerts for that. So I said, okay, this is gonna be the move. I'm gonna use this watch with Android. I found myself doing a lot of tapping the screen to try to get it to wake up. You know, kind of what I'm used to on phones. You tap the screen, the screen wakes up. The gestures on this watch are not so user-friendly. Uh, I had to hit the power button on the side to get it to wake up. To turn it off, I didn't tap to turn it off. You pinch, like if you pinch in the zoom, it's like pinch to turn it off, hit the button to turn it on. And then there's the back, the side swipes from to go back are fine. This watch was so comparable to the first model outside of my gripes about how silent the watch is. I thought it, I thought the speaker didn't work when I got it. I thought that bad, that's how bad it was for me. They use the built-in sound through the screen to use this. So if you wanna do anything that requires you listening to the music on the watch, talking on a phone conversation, you need to pair Bluetooth to the watch, which is also tied to your phone. So why not just tie Bluetooth to the phone? Like what's the purpose of the watch besides of notifications at this point? This watch has a lot of potential. I just think developers, programmers, people who work on this watch, just need to wear it for a while. You have all of the screen real estate and all the things you could do with this. Watch faces are nice. When I started really getting into this, I was like, awesome, some nice watch faces. But the only one I could find with like real animation to it was the one that I'm using. And all but one are in 24 hour format. I have the global version of this watch. I like 12 hours. Even if you don't put AM and PM, just use 12 hour format. Heart rate monitor works fairly good. Scrolling messages across the watch are neat, but again, it's another gimmicky kind of deal. Compass, I'm not gonna use. I'm not in Girl Scouts anymore. Find my phone, okay. I saw a lot of complaints on the Kickstarter app where people purchased this watch. But most of the complaints about this watch are that people struggle to get it to pair via Bluetooth to Bluetooth headphones. They said there are no directions, no instructions, none of that. I called my work desk 
and I had to hold the watch up to my ear literally like this to hear my voicemail from work. Speaker's there, but it's so light that you won't hear it. Vibration is very light. I'm thinking if you're in the right environment, you could get a call or an alert and you wouldn't get it. When somebody calls my phone, it vibrates once. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's laughable, it's so sad that I look at this watch and see how gorgeous it is. And I'm like, wow, it's a great looking watch, but it's not really functional. This is Android on Android, and it's not much of a perk to have it on an Android device over having it on iOS. I did find out how to go back and look at previous text messages. That's kind of nice. I didn't think you could do that originally. You can log workouts, but after that day, they're gone. Transferring music. Maybe I'll do some of that live. Because I couldn't get iOS to transfer music to this one. Import song. So now it's importing my ringtones. This is a test to show you how low the volume is on this thing without me having to call somebody. After trying this a couple times, it's crashing every time before it gets the music over. So that's a no go. And isn't that funny? With all the errors I got, they came through. See, it says I need Bluetooth. So it won't even play out on the speaker. Another fail. After all the trials and tribulations I've been through with this watch, it wouldn't be a watch that I would recommend to anybody. I bought this watch from somebody who previously used it. I'm not opposed to using used electronics, but some people are. My last Nubia Alpha watch got a couple of updates, but they did not improve the user experience. And I don't expect this one to either. I'm disappointed. Hopefully they will fix the issues that they have with their watch and move on. I'm not sure if I'd stick my neck out there to get another one unless it fell in my lap like this one did for a relatively cheap price. This watch was cheaper than my Nubia Alpha and it functions better. Between the two the watches I bought, both from Nubia, I probably paid for one. So I got a really good deal on both. But at the end of the day, they're conversation pieces and nothing more. It's like going out with a dumb guy who looks good. You can't have a conversation with him, but he's good to have, you know, he's trophy guy on your arm. Thanks for dropping by and checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the delay on it. I really didn't know how I wanted to address it. I wanted to explain to you that I've owned the previous generation of this watch might have taken a step or two back i wish this watch could be better check y'all out later